misunderstanding. So that might be part of the issue. Uh, it's the the bill is actually designed to try to at least have a conversation so that we can balance the economic effects on creative industries, uh, particularly with the dubbing and voice actors, with the educational impact of a decrease in exposure for our population to English media. Okay. So, unang-una ko, kailangan malinaw sa atin na English media lang po ang pinag-uusapan. Ang Korean telenovela, ang Japanese anime, i-dub niyo ho yan kahit na gano'n niyo kadaming beses at anumang klaseng lingwahe ang gusto niyong i-dub, okay lang. The premise is that English is a official language of the Philippines and anything that we can do to increase exposure of our students and access of our general population to English language media can only improve no, uh, English usage and English capacities locally. No, but siyempre, uh, malaki ho at ma, ma, malawak no, ang continuum ng anong ibig sabihin ng English media. Uh, kaya nga ho, uh, sinulong namin ng uh, batas na yan, a potential measure, uh, because we need to have a conversation about the educational benefits versus the creative industry economic costs. No? Um, siguro naman hindi na ansayin niya that I am also a champion of the creative industry you know, and the development of the creative industry and the creative economy. But we must have that conversation. No? Mm -hmm. And so, it hasn't yet, I think, been scheduled or agenda for a hearing. So we look forward to as many of the creative industry stakeholders to make their voices heard during the committee hearing and to see if it, in fact, can be amended or tweaked and whether or not, in fact, the committee decides that the creative industry economic costs far outweigh any educational benefit of such a measure.